Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Stephanie, aka Stephanie Yos. I'm a Vietnamese American content creator from the Bay Area. A lot of my videos are about food, travel, and lifestyle. Though today's video is going to be another reaction video. So there's this new show that recently came out on HBO Max called House of Ho. It is about a wealthy Vietnamese American family in Houston, kind of similar to Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but the Vietnamese edition. So I did watch the show. Interestingly enough, I did not watch the trailer, so I thought it would be fun to react to the trailer from a Vietnamese perspective. So if you like reaction videos, stay tuned. Three, two, one. What do you think of the decor, Leslie? Mm -hmm. uh, less is more. You're definitely not a hoe. Why? More is more. Okay, so right off the bat, we can see a lot of uh, examples of Vietnamese culture. Uh, so for one, the decor. Yeah, so you saw the lion dance going on. You saw the Chinese lanterns. You saw people in Ao Yai. That is all very true to Vietnamese culture, um, particularly when it comes to the Lunar New Year. So yeah, decor is pretty spot on. And when one of the characters said, no, more is more, um, Vietnamese people are pretty materialistic. Vietnamese people do place importance on material things, particularly nice, expensive things. And especially for Vietnamese refugees, you know, started with nothing. So having things really, really meant something. That's just how it be. All right, let's keep going. My family is Vietnamese, but loves being American. My brothers are named Washington and Reagan. I was a disappointment because I was a girl, so I'm named Judy. The vast majority of Vietnamese people who emigrate to America specifically, they do become very patriotic. Yeah, so the grandfather character named his two sons after US presidents because he was so patriotic, of Washington and Reagan, and the daughter, her name is Judy. Obviously not the name of a US president. Um, I think right away that's just really sad. Yeah, so I won't really go into it too much, but um, there is a lot of sexism. Um, in Vietnamese culture as well as this show, and I'll probably touch more upon it uh, as the trailer goes on. My parents are refugees, so they came over here in 1975. Most Vietnamese families settled in Houston because of the tropical weather. My main business now is banking and investment. My dad's retirement is coming up. I'm taking over. My son, I'm here to show me. He's ready. What are you wearing? It's just sexy. <laughs> Being Washington's wife isn't easy. I'm the one that has to make him accountable for his actions. His mom used to, but because I married him, it's my role. My mom said, if you marry Leslie, you don't owe me and dad nothing for the rest of your life. Look at what I have now. But I've grown to love her over time. Should that be on TV? family is really important in Vietnamese culture and when she talks about how because she married into the Ho family not only did she marry into the family but she also married the man that it's her job to keep the man in check and this is a theme throughout this whole show is that she has to keep him in check I actually found myself cursing a lot to this show because I actually didn't like that I think that people should be accountable for themselves and I think that um, it should not be a woman's responsibility to keep a man in check I think people should keep themselves in check and you know, treat everyone equally. But anyways, that gives you a little glimpse into their marriage dynamic. So let's keep going. My family, they're old school Vietnamese. I've done everything you have asked of me my whole life. I know that you prefer that I stay married, but I'm not asking for your approval anymore. So you told me to support that? No, I won't. I've been enjoying my life as a divorced woman. <laughs> of course, Aunt Tina is the first person who wants me to start dating. Do you have any pepsin? Hello. Looks hey, like look birth look control. That. Me? Need a birth control? No way, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, so going back to the point uh, with Judy, again, she's the daughter of Grandpa Ho. More about Judy, she's going through a divorce. This show does touch upon a bit of how Vietnamese people view divorce. Hint, hint, it's not great. But what I particularly wanted to point out was how she said, I've done everything you asked for and you still don't approve of my life, basically. Grandfather Ho says, no, I still don't approve. Um, that's also a big thing in Vietnamese culture. It's this culture of, of the children have to listen to the parents. You know, we're older, we're wiser than you, we know what's right. I don't agree with that either. I think it just devalues what children have to say for themselves. Even though Judy is a grown ass woman, I don't like that her parents are devaluing, you know, her choice in life and what she wants to do. So anyway, let's keep going. Being part of my family, you're like living in this life that is almost totally dependent on your parents. Thanks, okay. mommy. Be good boy, okay? Yes, <laughs> Everything looks good from the outside, but the inside is just so hard. Yeah. When it's good between us, it's good. But when it's bad, it's bad. You're my first wife. I hope you're my only wife. A lot of gambling. 
hit it. Hit it? I mean, like that. Is that your marriage advice? I know how to hit it. <laughs> okay, so in the last part of the trailer, you saw a lot of gambling. Yes, gambling is a very big part of Vietnamese culture. Vietnamese people love to gamble, uh, not just at the casino, but even at home. Usually during Lunar New Year, we play a lot of Vietnamese card games and board games, and there's a lot of money involved. <laughs> You also saw a little glimpse of a private jet. As far as all the glitz and glamour of the show, I'm really dubious as to how much of this is attributed to the whole wealth and not just HBO production budget. <laughs> but that was my reaction to the House of Ho trailer. I wanted to highlight as much of Vietnamese culture as I could. And as far as the show itself, you know, if you are into reality television, I, I think you'd get a kick out of the show, especially since there's that diversity factor. You know, there's never been a reality show based on wealthy Vietnamese Americans. So if you have time to kill, if you like reality television, feel free to check it out on HBO Max. All right, everyone. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned more about Vietnamese culture. That's what I'm here to do. So as always, leave a comment down below if you found any of this interesting. And please remember to like and subscribe. I recently surpassed 800 subscribers on my way to 1K. So please show your girl some love. Thanks so much, everyone, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!